All right, howdy, folks. Welcome back to the Dragon's Dogma 2 playthrough, episode 48. We're finishing up this tunnel up by the ancient battlegrounds. The flicker of a shadow. And what is probably, I said in the last one, but our last episode. Our last episode is an archer. Which is cool. I might call back on it later if I need it. Is this white? That's silver ore. Oh, this is just straight up mining central. So. My word! Never did I dream we would come upon such a rarity. How exciting! In case My we ever need white back. cobble, gonna mine it all. All right, to carry all this stuff. You'll like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find. I know, I know, I know, I know. Let's get out of here. Friends. Let's see where this spits us out, though. This will be interesting to see. It's in a place that I've never... Oh, I need to place a, um... Uh, I gotta get back to him if I ever find a place that hires... Hires people. Yeah. This is definitely in-game. Still. That one. First and foremost, we'll want to lock it on balance. We'll prove a much easier target than lying prone. This battle will demand all our strength. We must stand together and face this victory. guys do I have a fairy stone or a port crystal no I don't I deeply wish I did but I don't I 
Have a lometer. What's a battle most fierce against a formidable foe? Fortune favors us. Magic metal? Metals? No. Oh, maybe, but no. This definitely looks like somewhere I can't access until the end of the game. Ode to the Sphinx. O Sphinx, thou asketh, askest what hath four legs in the morn, two at night, noon, and three at night, for the answer is more is that means to claim a long sought boon. O Sphinx, what hath, okay. The one who, with the treasure, the, okay. Wow. What does that mean at all? Shrine Corridor. What's in here? Nothing. Pretty view. Pretty view. Oh my gosh. Very pretty view. Looking over the Fogged lands. This is like in game, feels like. Like we're definitely gonna be back here. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. That didn't open. Another Sphinx thing. Another dogged adventurer come to take my life. Many have tried. What the plainly see, all have failed. I would abandon any such fool ideas if I were you. After all, that which is won by brute force is apt to be lost to the same. Perhaps I might interest you in a game. It's a of human instead. being. I set before you a simple task. Solve my riddles to satisfaction. Should your answers please me, I will bestow upon you the contents of yon chests. If so, take your place and we shall begin. Resolve is commendable. The fool beholds a sage in the mirror. The sage a fool. Which is it you see, I wonder? <laughs> our eyes are our allies. Yet oft do they betray, for eyes tell lies. So I advise, and thence do lead astray. Yet, how will your eyes advise you? Venture through yonder door and retrieve that which is of greatest value. Okay. I think I want to come back and do this. Goblins, master! We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Here, strike with lightning on your side. is best avoided here. I th Piss, dude.
there's so many goblins. Ow. To me, we'll find some rare materials here. Well spotted. Shall we see what we can find? Sobering tonic. I don't understand what the Sphinx is asking. It is uncommonly rare, this. I look forward to informing my own gold or when I return. That's all that was down on this level, at least. Pick up every little thing. We would do well to keep our distance. Surely not good can come of that. Indeed. One never can be too cautious. Money. Over here, if you please. Run past. Item of greatest value. Not to our destination. If you would prefer to explore, I shall guide you another time. The arisen decides our path. We have but to follow. I shan't let the path. Fall. I think those are just sinkholes. Like, there's nothing. Okay. I think I found what is most valuable. This is a poor remuneration for huh. efforts, I must say. Rarely have I felt so empty. That drops us back here. Holy cow. And it was right at the beginning the whole time. Ha! Tricky, tricky, tricky. Yeah, we'll come back to the Sphinx. Ceiling file. I'm gonna guess that's the most valuable. There was another one of these. Come to test your wits. Yet, how will your eyes advise you? Venture through yonder door. You may hear my riddles as oft as you please. 
Yet, how will your eyes advise you? Venture through yonder door. Be right. So, this is your choice. The greatest worth your eyes describe. Oh. Indeed, this is what I sought. Your eyes. <laughs> No greater worth can there be than that found in simplicity. As promised, I shall bestow upon you a prize. Collect it from yon chest and take this file too. Its purpose I shan't divulge. How you use it is up to you. A result to be proud of. What in the world? And then you get that if you solve them all, I guess. Wakestone, yes. Then I kept the file, right? Uh, a file that is the remarkable one. It boasts the unnerving ability to swallow people up, allowing them to be carried about with ease. That's cool. We're going to give it... They're far. Oh, they can't come up here. That's all right. can't give it to anybody okay we're going to use a wakes or we're gonna go back to vermont guys we will finish that up later though that's sick dude yeah that's sick off to vermont we're gonna unload our storage and stuff. What's our first order of business? It's been a long time since I've been here, too. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. We ought to put it to good use. Alright, let's go home. Let's take a rest. I've just recalled the little tidbit I heard from the locals. We're gonna switch to the Before trickster too. Ooh, we have a gift. Yes. I had a feeling you would not be here today, and yet I still set out to seek you more the fool I know. However, I do not regret my coming here. Uh, at the very least it's an opportunity to pass on the package, which I hope will be a small aid in the road ahead. Take care. Nice. Thank you. Yes. I thank you. I needed that right back. Now, let's go and empty. Empty the stores. And also finish a couple quests. Which have been a long time coming. Paloma, you carrying anything you need to put up? You're carrying the wake stones, yeah, but... No, she's good. I know you're carrying stuff you need to put up. Um, put that up. Put the astrocyte up. Um, I don't understand what... Okay. Can put that up. Can put that up. I'm actually going to put all of these up. Boost magic. I feel like I should give that to a Loma, you know? Am I wearing any rings? Am I just not? No, I just haven't been wearing rings. Huh. <laughs> well, I'm pulling a ring back out. All right, max health. 
There was one that did like everything. Yeah. What the world? That was weird. That's so strange. All right, um, I'm still super heavy. But I think as we switch to the next class, I'm going to get less heavy. So. Shall we get some rest then? Yeah, have you been only have you been used, Aloma? <coughs> No, doesn't look like it. Oh no, yeah, she is. Um, Wicking remedy, set the storage. Welcome back, Aloma. I'm glad it's people are using turn. you. Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Ready to forge on? Yeah, we got a couple quests. Um, attend the unveiling at Clark's estate. That is one. That is two. Not that. Not that. Um, that is three, which we're doing now. Yeah, that's all. All right, to the slums. I have the my Mia smite. Sorry, it took so long. Yes, sir. Have you procured what I asked? Splendid. You've my gratitude. Unfortunately, I can give you little more than that. Forgive me, but I must return to my round. You're good, as long as I get some XP. Ah, but in place of a reward, mayhap I could give you a Yes, of, of course. Only if you've the time and inclination, of course. What say you? Would you care to accompany me? As servants of the Gracious Hand, we provide whatever treatment we can to those unfortunate who are stricken by maladies. Yet, at times, <coughs> perhaps you will recall the parents who were here when you first arrived. An unfortunate pair. They've suffered no few hardships in the slums, and now even their poor son Lubomir has fallen ill. By chance, he was examined by a roaming man claiming to be a doctor. Yet, the family had not the money for the medicine he required. So? He was put into our care. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll need someone to talk to. One day, I'm going to have a proper arrangement. Here he is. This young man is Lubomir. He's not very young. He's been administering the medicine recommended by the doctor who examined him. But he has yet to show any sign of recovery. To be perfectly honest, I doubt the soundness of that so-called doctor's judgment. After all, there is no shortage of ne'er-do-wells out there willing to claim their medicine the only cure, that they might inflate its price. But I suppose I ought not say such things so openly. A at any rate, I'd best continue on my rounds. Pray, stay as long as you wish. Come, come. We've medicine to prepare. We've enough to make a fresh batch now, thanks to a kind donation. Psst, you there. Help me. Oh, he is young. Listen, the sisters here are good to us, but I'm growing weaker day by day. It started with a slight fever, and now I can scarce lift myself. All heal? Will that help? See that empty bed? An old man was lying in it till just a few days past. He told me he was feeling better, that he'd be well enough to leave anon. 
and now he's... Mayhap I'm just imagining things. I hope that's the case. And yet... Gah... Something isn't right about this place. Mm. Right. Should you hear any queer rumors about the gracious hand? Oh, he's beast you, That makes sense. You? I'd see to it myself, but I can hardly move. Yeah, I remember going downstairs. My heart is just thinking about it. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting. What are you doing, Daphne? Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Might you be a friend of Lupamir's? He's seen better days, hasn't he? There has been talk of sending him down to the basement, should his condition fail to improve. That is, the basement sick room, where our most critical patients... Yeah, I just went down there. None of the other sisters have permitted entry, including myself. Tell is, she gives the patients a special medicine. I, I know not what kind. Sometimes I hear strange cries and moans drift up from below. W which is to, to be expected. Those who come here see <coughs> all manner of functions, you see. And yet, a part of the <coughs> <is> over them. <coughs> I wish I could go with you. Lubomir? I figured it out. Does Sir Lubomir know of this basement sick room? So, the worst of us are taken to the basement. Mayhap that's the source of the queer voices I hear at night. And none say the abbess can enter? If the gracious hand has a secret, tis the abbess who keeps it, I reckon. You've done this much for me. Would you be willing to go further? I must find out what goes on down there. I agree. Oh, you've my thanks. I just can't stomach the thought of lying here not knowing. Of course, all the better should your search come to naught. But if you do find aught some mist down in that basement, it must be the abbess's doing. Should you find evidence fit to implicate her, will you help me see to it that justice is carried out? See, I've already reported my suspicions to the sentinels, and we've arranged a signal. If you apprehend the abbess, they'll know to come and arrest her. So I beg you, sir, find the evidence you need, if it exists to be found. To get to the bottom of what is happening at the Gracious Hand, we shall have to acquire evidence of any misdeeds. Chaos in the world begins with chaos of the mind. So true. I incurred your wrath with some respect, Master. I do hope more befalls Lupamig. How might we enter the basement sick room? Splendid. We've arrived, just as planned. I wish I could go with you. Daphne, I like you, but you're annoying. Trap door. No trap doors or anything. No, there might be. Is 
Sir, arisen, I trust. Pray see to it that naught akin to the recent do. By your leave, arisen. I figure maybe there's a entrance down here, but I don't think I'm right. Anything I can learn at the tavern, maybe? Lady Eleanor's a goodly person, a saint like, but her earnest care saw me back to Okay, here we go. I wavered between life and death for quite some time in that basement sick room, and she watched over me. How was I supposed to know to talk to this guy? Can't say as I miss that basement mine. It is an eerie place, dark and shadowy, filled with the moaning of the sick. I suppose it is only to be expected. Given the state of those assembled, I'm sure I was moaning too. Aye, that Lady Eleanor is a good... You fond of those eyes? Keep them to yourself. Elena. Ah, oh, here we go. The abbess of the gracious hand. A fine woman by all accounts. I was in her care once myself. But I must admit, I've always felt there's something off about her. You see, I was only a little under the weather when I entered her care. But then I started getting sicker and sicker till I was certain death would come for me. In the end, I survived. But methinks I was one of the lucky few. So many She's experimenting. And once I saw her, the abbess. Meeting with a strange man. <coughs> she handed him a large parcel, all wrapped up. And he gave her something small in return. You'd think to a medicine. But I'd not have bought medicine from a man like that. He had the look of a scoundrel about him. They were whispering. But I did hear one of them say aught about keeping quiet. Tis well suspicious, eh? Where'd they meet? was in the square in the eastern part of the common quarter and always a night as I recall ah there we go but this is where I call this episode if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel I'll see you on the next one I'm out